Hey everyone, I am Nathaniel Rumpel Jantz from Nintendo Prime. And I want to tell you about a big event we have coming up from June 9th through June 14th. It's called Prime Gaming Fest. And my lord, is it one of the most crazy events we've ever had. We did a show like this last year in 2021. The idea of the show back then tentatively called back then E3 Extravaganza, was to use all of the connections I have gained over the years as a YouTuber, as well as some of the revenue that we gain on YouTube as well, and invest it back into our viewers. And we did that by giving away thousands of dollars and hundreds of items of giveaways during a four-day E3 event last year. Now, when doing a giveaway type event, I didn't want to just be, hey, we're just doing giveaways because of the pandemic and trying to give back to people. We also wanted to make sure that we really theme the show around video games and gaming. So last year, if you couldn't tell by the branding E3 extravaganza, we based it around E3 itself and reacting to all of the gaming news live. We had 12 plus hour live streams, four days straight. The final day was 17 hours. Uh, and we just did a lot of really crazy stuff. We had a lot of gaming competitions between us and the community. Uh, we had competitions between me and my co-host because my show is co-hosted by Eric Moore from the Nintendo Prime Podcast. We had a couple special guests, not a ton. I think there was two special guests total. Uh, and we just ended up having a grand old time. Uh, and we ended up, in at least the words of our own viewers, putting on a better show than E3 itself did. Really, really hard to believe but then again, our main competition was Verizon 5G. Oh my God! Wow! Some really big standards to hold ourselves to, right? Uh, this year, though, we've obviously rebranded to Prime Gaming Fest, and I think we're going to keep this branding moving forward. Uh, you know, yeah, it does kind of tie into Summer Game Fest, and obviously the Prime part of Nintendo Prime. Uh, but this year, we are actually making the show bigger and better than it's ever been. We have a special guest coming on every single day. Some days, maybe more than one. Prime Gaming Fest is also now going from four days to six days, June 19th or June 14th. Uh, we have a whole bunch of stuff to react to. We have even more giveaways this year than last year, more winners this year than last year as well. Uh, a lot of companies you know, ended up responding quite well to what we did last year and wanted to come back and re-support this year. Some new companies came into the fray. Our own money came into the fray. And obviously, we did a lot of stuff between last year's show and this year and you haven't even seen the final form of this show yet we actually spent a lot of time over the last four months rebuilding our entire studio based around doing this show now yes our studio can do a lot of other stuff our daily videos and live streams and everything we are a nintendo channel but uh we actually were able to build quite an amazing experience for our users for this upcoming show and it's not even done yet we have more being done there's literally stuff right behind the camera that's part of the set that isn't even installed yet so that's how crazy things are getting right now but today i wanted to not just talk about what prime gaming fest is a giveaway event a community event uh, we even have a super smash Bros. ultimate tournament i wanted to actually also go over the schedule because this is going to be rather in depth we're going to actually separate the schedules with timestamps uh, down below per day so let's just get into our schedule for june 9th okay june 9th for uh, prime gaming fest so all day long uh eric and i will be doing what's called the white polo challenge so during the eric versus nate challenges this year if we lose one of those challenges, the loser will need to spin what we are calling the Wheel of Death. The Wheel of Death is actually a callback to F-Zero back on the GameCube. If you guys remember that particular F-Zero game, there was an ability in that game called the Wheel of Death. We're not going to go into all the details here. I want that implied. We're obviously not dying, you know, going to end up killing each other here. Uh, but we are going to have a number of punishments on this wheel. So when the loser loses, as an example, maybe they have to do a shot at Tequila. Well, my kryptonites. Uh, maybe they have to end up uh, doing a shot of the of one of the hottest hot sauces in the world uh, and stuff of that nature. Uh, we, we have other ridiculous costume uh, things. We have uh, pies and faces and eggs on being smacked on heads and a whole bunch of crazy punishments that are part of this wheel. And uh, some of the punishments will be repeatable and never leave. Other ones will obviously only be a one time ordeal. 
So what's interesting, obviously, about this is when we're starting with the white polo challenge, uh, this oh, this runs all day as a challenge because we'll be wearing white uh, Prime Gaming Fest polos, and the first one of us to get that polo dirty where we can't just, like, wipe it off. Like, if it's a crumb and we go like this and it wipes off, that doesn't count. It's got to be something that's, like, embedded into the shirt. Uh, they lose and have to spin the wheel. That's just a challenge we have going on all day for 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. But let's get into the brux of the actual show right now. That's obviously a, an all-day challenge. We will probably bring it up briefly at the beginning. We're actually going to kick off uh, the show with our Welcome to Prime Gaming Fest event from 9 to 9.30. This event is going to include a kickoff giveaway as well as announcing winners to a current giveaway we have going on right now for two copies of... Well, what was that again? Oh, right. That, there, there's a game coming out next week. I don't know if you guys heard about it, Mario Strikers Battle League. We're giving away two copies of it right now. We'll announce the winners to that, as well as, as, well as actually getting to uh, the brux of a brand new giveaway to kick off the day. Uh, we're going to follow that up again with another giveaway at 9.30, while also talking about the Super Smash Bros. tournament. We are actually going to have a Super Smash Bros. tournament happening on this day, and this is going to be kind of explaining how that tournament works, what the rules are, uh, what we are doing as commentators, and all of that. Uh, throughout the Super Smash Bros. tournament, there will be another giveaway that you'll be able to enter. This one will be through a pinned comment uh, in the description, uh, in, in the chat, in the live chat. And yeah, you click on that uh, pinned comment to enter. By the way, to actually win any of these giveaways, you need to be subscribed to our channel and be there live. If you are not live when we draw your name, we will draw a new name. All right, now from 10 a.m. to noon, which I said we'll have that giveaway pinned in the, in the uh, comment section, throughout the entire Smash Bros. tournament, that two-hour period. Uh, we have our Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament. Uh, all the, all the uh, contestants have already been pre-selected. There was a sign-up period for a couple weeks last month. Uh, so, yeah, we, we got 32 contestants. By the time we actually get to this one, there will only be 16 because round one is happening on a different day. So you're going to see the top 16 rest of the bracket live commentary uh, and a lot of fun. And, yes, the winner of the tournament will be receiving a prize. All right. Next up after that from uh, 12 p.m. to 1230. And by the way, all these times are Central Standard Time. Uh, we will be actually uh, doing a tournament reaction. We'll talk about our favorite moments of the tournament, congratulate the winner, and yes, end with a little bit of another giveaway for the chat. We're going to follow that right up at 12.30 to 1 p.m. Central Time with our Summer Game Fest pre-show. This is where we're going to be talking about our expectations for Summer Game Fest itself uh, and any other you know things that might have come out throughout the day, leaks, rumors, and all of that jazz. Next up, we have the Summer Game Fest event. So Summer Game Fest is kind of a two-part event. There is the actual Summer Game Fest event where Jeff Keighley will be unveiling things for a couple hours, and they're going to follow that right up with the Day of Devs, which also will unveil some indie stuff as well as developer interviews. We will have, uh, what's to say, six random giveaways going on during this time slot because... Summer Game Fest and Day of Dem runs for about four hours from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Central. And then that's immediately followed up by maybe our favorite part of the day, and that is the Devolver Digital event. Devolver Digital is back. They put on one of the best shows every E3, every summer, uh, and they're back again doing an event from about 5 to 6 p.m. Central time. We will also have another giveaway pinned in the in the. Uh, comments for that event as well while we are live reacting to it after that we have our post show reaction from 6 p.m to 7 p.m where we're finally just kind of summarizing our entire feelings of the devolver digital event the summer game fest event and the day of devs uh, and we will also have a giveaway happening at some point during that hour as well this giveaway will just be live through the chat it won't be through a link uh, next up we have a tippy cup race uh, we will explain the rules of this race at the time this is a competition between eric and i Obviously, loser has to uh, spin the wheel of death. Uh, after that, we have special guest Super Metal Dave 64 coming on at 8 p.m. He's our first special guest of Prime Gaming Fest. He has that special honor. He's coming on for about a 45-minute segment to talk about everything that happened that day and give us his thoughts. And then we're going to end the day with the Prime Gaming Fest Day 1 sign-off, and you know that also includes an end-of-day giveaway. So, yeah, that's about everything for June 9th. All right, let's get right into June 10th. Uh, we'll be starting off at 9 a.m. Central Time again to 9.30 a.m., uh, recapping Day 1 of Prime Gaming Fest. Uh, then we'll follow that up at 9.30 with a new giveaway, as well as Nintendo Drink 
Pong. This is a competition between Eric and I. Again, we will explain the rules, obviously, at the time that we do that competition. Loser will be spinning the wheel. We're actually following that right up with a Mario Strikers match with Eric versus Nate. Again, the loser of that will have to actually, you know, spin the wheel of death again. Uh, that's from 10 a.m. to 10.30. That's going to be uh, a really fun. I can't wait to, to do that. Obviously, this is the launch day for Mario Strikers. Uh, we actually have a Mario Strikers special at the end of this day. Uh, next up, uh, we're going to have a little pre-show for Geek Week, IGN, Expo, and the Tribeca pre-show because there's a whole bunch of stuff happening, uh, you know, later on on Friday. So we got about a half-hour pre-show there from about 10.30 to 11 a.m. There'll be a giveaway happening at that time as well. Next up, we have the IGN Expo from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central Time that we will be live reacting to that as well. Followed up by the Netflix Geek Week Game Showcase, the Cuphead Show Table Read at 1 o'clock, and the Resident Evil Star um, live event happening at 1.30 p.m. to 2 p.m. as well. We will have a giveaway or two happening throughout all of that event as well. Another giveaway is going to start all over again with the Tribeca Game Spotlight as well because we're really excited about that. And I believe the Tribeca one is where we're going to actually see the Cuphead DLC. So that's a really exciting thing. We have a post-show reaction to all of those back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back shows uh, from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Central Time, followed up by a special not Nate vs. Eric. It's actually Nate and Eric vs. the chat in a game of Nintendo Hangman. Again, we'll explain the rules on that uh, when we get closer to that date. Uh, next up over that, we're actually going to have a members-only giveaway at 4.30 p.m. Uh, this is where we lock down the ch chat. It's just, actually, I don't even know if we're going to lock down the chat, but either way, it's going to end up being just only our members of the board, our paid members, are going to get an exclusive giveaway that day. Uh, you can, you know, join right then if you want to get in on it, or you cannot. It doesn't matter. We have a number of other member giveaways as well, but that's the only one for that day. We followed it up at 5 p.m. with special guest HMK. That's right. The hype man himself is coming in. He'll probably want to talk about a lot of things that happened the day before uh, and, you know, so much more. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. I Honestly, I don't even know where that conversation is going to take us. I just know it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, after that, we have a Nate vs. Eric event at 6 p.m. Central Time. Uh, this is going to be Nintendo Switch Sports one-on-one. -on -one. We're not announcing which sport it is yet. Uh, after that is where we get into a lot of fun on day two because we get to a Mario Strikers Club ranked matches. So Mario Strikers has a club. We're going to have the Nintendo Prime Club rocking. We're going to get some members in on that, and we're going to have a lot of fun. And we're actually going to try, at least on day one, to be a pretty highly ranked club. I don't know if that ranking is going to stay, but we'll see. We're also going to have five random giveaways happening throughout that and that's taking place from 6 30 to 9 p.m so that's kind of how we're ending day two is playing a ton of mario strikers battle league and attempting to get really really damn good and get our club ranked pretty high next up we get to the weekend and we get to june 11th uh we are going to start off again with a day two recap at 9 a.m we're following that up with special guest nintendo academy mike perez himself coming on at 8 30 a.m to 9 30 a.m for a full hour segment we're following that up again with with the What's Ahead talk. What's Ahead? We'll find out. There's going to be a giveaway as well. Beyond all of that, we have the Gorilla Game Collective Showcase happening at 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And we'll have a giveaway throughout that event as well. And then right after the Collective, uh, the Gorilla Collective Showcase, we have the Wholesome Games Direct. And then we follow that up with the Future of Play Direct and a giveaway. And then we do get a small little break until the next event. And so we're going to actually play another game of Hangman against the chat uh, for punishments and for a prize. And by the way, right after that, we have the future game show pre-show and another giveaway. Oh, by the way, then it's the future game show at 2 p.m. You guys are seeing the schedule on screen. It's pretty crazy. We followed that up with, obviously, our post-show of all these events for a full hour. We go over stuff with another giveaway thrown in. We have another Nintendo vs. Eric Switch Sports event at 5 p.m. Then Nintendo Academy is coming back towards the end of the day from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. to, again, talk about everything that happened this day. And then we're ending the day with our Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Tournament, where the person who wins the tournament and is at first place at the end of the stream wins a prize. We're also going to have six random giveaways during that tournament. Pretty exciting stuff. Next up, we get to the uh, that Xbox Bethesda day, baby. June 12th. So we're kicking up at 9 a.m., uh, and we're going to be recapping the day before. Uh, and then we have a giveaway at 9.30 and a member-only giveaway uh, from 10 
uh, from what is this, uh, 10 to 10.15. So a 15 minute window there for a member only giveaway. Followed up by another Switch Sports special between Nate and Eric. Uh, this one's gonna take about 45 minutes because we're doing a best two out of three. Uh, next up for that, we have our Xbox Bethesda pre-show at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. There will be a giveaway during that as well. Then we get to the Xbox Bethesda showcase. Yes, we will have, again, a giveaway throughout the whole showcase, but we will be live reacting to everything happening at Xbox and Bethesda. Next up, we have a, a small little moment to do an Xbox post show, just about a half hour around 2 p.m. We got to you know kind of give us quick thoughts on that because right after that comes the PC gaming show from 2.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. And yes, we will have a giveaway during the PC gaming show as well. Then after that, we get to the PC gaming show slash Xbox recap post show from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. And yes, we will have three random giveaways during that event as well. And then we have another Nintendo Pong rematch again we'll talk about what that means at the time at 5 30. then we have a member exclusive giveaway at six followed up by our top five favorite xbox game segment a special we're doing where we're actually kind of sort of having an xbox podcast for a brief moment from 6 30 to 7 30 p.m and there will be a giveaway as well then we have a smash bros one-on-one -on -one match eric and i special there at 7 30 and then we end the day with special guest special nick from the xbox era podcast we're getting an expert in to weigh in on everything that happened at that xbox bethesda showcase now we get to monday june 13th and things get crazy we have a special event kind of like the uh the white polo challenge on day one uh, called Don't Say the Word Mystery Shot. We'll, we will get into that. It's an all day event. Uh, we're going to start the day by recapping day four. Then we got a give uh, at 9 a.m. Then we got a giveaway at 9 30. Then we have an interview with an actual game developer, uh, the sixth hammer at 10 a.m. Uh, we followed that up with Hangman Against the Chat again at 10 30. Another giveaway at 11. Then we have special guest Capt Bergeson coming on from 11 30 a.m. to 12 30 p.m. And then we have a call in special where for one hour, where you guys can actually call into our live show and talk about various topics uh, with us. Just make sure you have headphones. Uh, we also have a giveaway going on during that event. And then that's followed up at, uh, what is it, 1.30 uh, p.m. Central Time with a Switch Sports 1v1 match uh, with Eric and Nate. Then we have a member-only giveaway at 2. And then we have the Gorilla Games pre-show at 2.30 p.m. Then we have the actual Gorilla Collective 3.5 show from 3 to 4 p.m. Uh, Central Time. We'll have a giveaway during that event as well. Then we have the Gorilla Games post-show at 4 p.m. And then we have another call-in special from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. with two items being given away during that special. Then we have Mario Strikers 1v1 match again at 5.30 p.m. And then we have special guest Jake Randall coming on from 6 to 7 p.m. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and then we have another giveaway at 7. Then Eric and I are actually going to give our top 10 games shown in June in the whole of June so far. We're going to have a little debate over what our top 10 is there from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. Then we're going to end it uh, with rapid fire giveaways from 8.30 to 9. It's going to be a lot of fun. Then we get to June 14th. So on June 14th, it's a little different. We sort of have two shows planned. One of them, if we have a Nintendo Direct, one if we don't. So it's kind of a double book day, but that's okay. We're just being prepared. So we're starting our day uh, at 9 a.m. again with the thoughts of you know our final day of Prime Gaming Fest thoughts from 9 to 9.30. Then we're recapping day five at 9.30 along with a giveaway. Then we have a massive rock, paper, scissors showdown at 10 a.m. between Eric and I. Uh, then we have a member only giveaway at 10.30. Then we have another call-in special from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. along with a giveaway. We're also gonna have Mario Strikers impressions, a nice discussion on our thoughts on Mario Strikers so far from 12 to 1 p.m. Uh, and then after that will technically be the Nintendo Direct pre-show from 1 to 2 uh, with the Nintendo Direct right after that, followed by the Nintendo Direct post-show. But again, we don't know if this is gonna happen for sure, so we do have a backup plan. And that backup plan would be an Epic Games Showdown. We'll explain what that is if we end up doing it at 1 p.m. And then we actually have our first annual Prime Gaming Fest Awards special happening uh, from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. That's assuming, again, 
that we need to have that award special. We're only going to have it if we have to. Uh, following up all of that is going to be a member-only giveaway at 3.30. Then we got a Super Smash Bros. one-on-one with Eric and I at 4. Followed up by a talking segment called, called Does E3 Need to Return uh, from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. Followed up by our last call-in special of the show from 5.30 to 6.30 where, with a giveaway. Our last hangman with the chat comes right after that at 6.30. Then we have a member-only giveaway at 7. We have a giveaway away for everybody at 7 30 and then we have special guest andres restart on and then we get to our final bonus hour of the show the prime gaming fest post show finale that's gonna have massive giveaways and and lots of crazy stuff in that final hour as we wind down prime gaming fest that's a lot guys it took me a long time to get through all of that so i hope i hope uh it's hard to imagine all of this if you haven't experienced it before But if you can't tell, we're booked to the brim. Absolutely jam-packed. We have over 150 games we're giving away. We have almost 100 physical items we're giving away. This is insane this year, and you know what? I do it all for you guys. So I really hope at the end, when you get to the end of Prime Gaming Fest, you look back at us through the lens of your computer, your phone, whatever device you're on, and you go, hot damn, that was real fun. All right, guys, I'm Nathaniel Rebel Jans from Nintendo Prime. I hope to see all of you guys at Prime Gaming Fest. Down in the description and the pinned comment, I'll put a link to all six days of Prime Gaming Fest. We already have the stream set up. I would appreciate it if you would go drop likes on all of those streams and set your notifications for every stream so you don't miss a beat. I understand it's very unlikely anybody but myself will actually be here for every minute, every second of Prime Gaming Fest. But that's okay. We love it whether you're here for just a few minutes, a few hours, a few days. However long you can spend with us, we appreciate it. And we hope to see you there. Catch you guys, well, in the next video, live stream, whatever's going on next. I don't know. I've been spending my whole week working on this.